get those shots that I think I just got, you gotta be really lucky and have a lot of patience. You see, these dolphins out here can stay underwater for 20 minutes. So how is it that whales and dolphins, breathing mammals just like us, can stay underwater for so long and we can't? Or can we? I started getting into marine biology, I've been fascinated by large marine mammals. But it wasn't until Jonas and I had a sailing adventure in Hawaii that I had up close encounters. An amazing experience. So whales and dolphins are mammals just like us. They have lungs to breathe with, blood that carries oxygen all throughout their body. They even evolved from ancestors that lived on the land a long, long time ago. I wonder though, how come these whales and dolphins are so well adapted for living in the ocean and diving so deep while we're not? Well, we actually have more of these diving mammals in us than you might think. Just lacking a fluke, but that can be arranged. Freedivers Darren Verbeck and Brett Lemaster took us out on a training session. Freediving is a sport divided up into several different disciplines. All with one basic idea. You hold your breath. Breathing is something that we take for granted and don't even think about. For the most part, it's an involuntary action. Our body does it for us. What happens when we breathe is that oxygen in the air is taken up in the alveoli in our lungs and then carried by blood throughout the body. The oxygen enters our cells and then reacts with glucose. The process is called cellular respiration. Through several steps or pathways, for example the Krebs cycle, we end up with water, carbon dioxide and energy. Even though it's oxygen we need for cellular respiration, it's the buildup of carbon dioxide and not the lack of oxygen that is the primary signal to the body to take another breath. On average, when we're relaxed, an adult breathes around 12 to 20 times every minute. So when some mammals dive underwater, they can swim and search for food for several minutes without replacing the oxygen that the body is using. How is this possible? Marine mammals are so well adapted uh, to the ocean because of the millions of years of evolution they've had existing in a very harsh environment. They are extremely well suited to this environment. They're super streamlined like a bullet slicing through the air. They slice through the water. They have uh, much better capacity to absorb oxygen and utilize that than humans do. They can inhale in less than a second. For humans, it takes three or four seconds to and get a full breath, where the dolphin can do it like that, and his lungs are full. So he can spend very little time on the surface breathing up. They also have bradycardia, where their heart will slow down as soon as they start the dive. They have uh, venal constriction in the, their, their fins, just like we do in our arms and legs, which allows that extra blood to go to the core of their body and oxygenate the parts of their body that need a continuous supply of oxygen. The kidneys, the brain, the heart, and the same with us. As it turns out, when we humans free dive, we have similar responses, such as bradycardia, slowing down of the heart rate, and concentration of blood to vital organs. During long breath holds, it's important to maximize the oxygen supplies so that we can stay down as long as possible. Oxygen is used by the body to produce energy and is pumped around by the heart. Oxygen can also be stored in the body for short periods of time. For example, proteins in the muscles, called myoglobins, can store oxygen for muscle activity. Diving mammals have very high concentrations of myoglobin to supply their muscles with oxygen during their long dives. 
The ability to dive deep and stay on the water for long periods of time is a great adaptation for marine mammals when, for example, searching for food. They, the average person can do over 30 meters, okay, um, and hold their breath for roughly three minutes. With just a little bit of training here and there on, on technique and stuff like that, the average person can dive to 150 feet and hold their breath for about four and a half to five minutes. And then we have the extreme athletes that are now pushing the depths below uh, 100 meters diving and holding their breath for over 10 minutes. 100 meters? That's about this long. These mammals are totally amazing. Like these guys, we've also learned that our bodies have amazing abilities, well, given the right training. The male and female records for static apnea, which is basically when you lay face down in the water and hold your breath as long as you can, are longer than the length of this video. I guess the human body is not so far behind its distant relatives, the dolphins and whales, after all. Now, for those of you out there that are holding your breath, trying to be like a free diver right now, stop. It can be really dangerous. If you want to learn how to free dive, get the assistance of a professional. It can really help you out. But remember, never stop exploring your world. <laughs>